Hi everybody and good morning. It is Friday. Yes, Friday. We made it. October 15th. I'm Dave Chodowski with your three news now morning update. Danielle is off. Thanks for spending a few minutes with me on the WKYC digital platforms. Now remember to share your thoughts on the stories covered in this edition of three news now. Let me know your name and where you are watching from. Take a look at this. Cloudy skies are taking over downtown Cleveland this morning. Some rain is expected later today, but will it clear in time for some outdoor fun this weekend? Here's Holly with your forecast. Hi, Holly. Hi, Dave. And uh, you know what? It will for the second part of the weekend. We're going to have scattered showers on and off throughout today. As we take you hour by hour through the rest of the afternoon, we do see more numerous showers and even thunderstorms. Some of these storms could become strong to severe. This is the view at 6 o'clock this evening. We've got high school football to play, and a lot of these games are going to be a little iffy because of the strong to severe storms expected. 7, 8 o'clock tonight, we continue to see more. And overnight, we'll have our front push through, and uh, it's going to pour. You'll be hearing rumbles of thunder 3, 4 a.m. tomorrow, and we'll continue with showers, especially early in the day, before we start to clear things up and just deal with a sporadic shower beyond that. But some really cool weather for your Saturday with temperatures only in the 50s tomorrow afternoon. Those leftover lake showers, especially close to the lakeshore. And then getting into Sunday, it's looking like we turn mostly sunny. And that is perfect timing because we've got the Browns in town and it is a four o'clock game on Sunday. Another mild one today, but again, scattered showers, storms 77 the high. Some storms could become strong or severe, so a big heads up there. Make sure you've got your Channel 3 weather app handy today. And tomorrow, 50s, rainy, especially early, breezy, cooler. Sunday, 61, partly sunny, perfect, very much uh, what we expect this time of the year. And Dave, it looks lovely as we head into next week. Yeah, hello autumn, but next week, yeah, it's going to be great. Okay, Holly, thank you. Well, big news today for millions vaccinated with Moderna. An extra dose of protection against COVID may soon be on the way. Yesterday, an FDA safety panel gave it the green light. CDC will review the data on Moderna boosters next week. If the CDC signs off, the third shot would be available for people age 65 and up, as well as adults at high risk or are frequently exposed at work. Later today, the FDA safety panel is expected to review J and J boosters and a new study from the National Institutes of Health showing that mixing brands for boosters is safe. Meanwhile, President Biden gave an update on his administration's coronavirus response, saying vaccination efforts are working. We're down to 66 million, still unacceptably high number of unvaccinated people from almost 100 million in July. That's important. It's important progress. But it's not, now's not the time to let up. We have a lot more to do. The president also thanked private employers for adopting their own mandates as his administration works to finalize an order requiring vaccines or frequent testing for companies with 100 or more workers. Here in Ohio, the Cleveland Clinic says 15% of all new COVID cases it saw in September were breakthrough infections, meaning those who tested positive were fully vaccinated. However, the clinic stressed that the vast majority of new cases remains in those who are unvaccinated. Time now for a look at three things to know happening in our area. Starting today, all court employees at the Cuyahoga County Common Pleas are required to be vaccinated. The mandate was passed back on August 16th. Employees with medical or religious exemptions will still be allowed to continue their duties. A $100 incentive was provided to county staff who received the vaccine. Check out what's gracing the waters off of Lake Area. The famous worship, the USS Niagara, is in port this morning near downtown Cleveland. The tall ship will be spending a few days here for some much needed maintenance. The Niagara is a wooden hauled boat that served as the relief flagship for Oliver Hazard Perry in the Battle of Lake Erie during the War of 1812. This weekend, South Park Mall in Strongsville is celebrating its 25th anniversary in honor of this milestone. The shopping center is hosting a three-day anniversary celebration with a series of fall events starting today. There will be a beer garden, pumpkin patch, bounce house, and live music. For more info about this event, check their Facebook page.
Cleveland Orchestra is back in, in person for its 104th season. Last night marked its first public concert at Severance Music Center since March of 2020. It was also it was one of the final performances for pianist Joella Jones. She received the 2021 Distinguished Service Award last evening as she prepares to leave after 54 seasons. We'll have much more on her incredible career today right here on WKYC.com. It feels so good to be out and away from my boyfriend. Uh, Phoebe Robinson is a comic creator and boss, and she's from Cleveland. This morning, her new stand-up comedy special, Sorry Harriet Tubman, is officially streaming on HBO Max, but the Ohio native has been busy. Robinson is currently working on a new TV series for Freeform called Everything's Trash, and she just released her third book, Don't Sit on My Bed in Your Outside Clothes. She published it through her own book in print called Tiny Reparations. Robinson talked to Three News' Kiara Cotton and said she created the imprint to help showcase diverse voices. When I was shopping around my first book, You Can't Touch My Hair and Other Things I Still Have to Explain, this was 2015, and it was really difficult. The only person who was interested in my book was my, my publisher, Plume, and everyone else was like, this isn't relatable. No one's going to want to read this. No one's interested in reading a book written by a Black woman. And this is 2015, and this is what I was being told. And so for me, with this imprint, I want people to feel as though this is a safe space. They can really have a platform to let their work shine and not be rejected just based on how they look or their sexual orientation or how they identify. Robinson says as soon as she gets back to touring, she hopes to bring her comedy show to Cleveland. To hear her full interview, you can be right here on WKYC.com and our social media pages. All right, well, I want to thank you very much for taking the time to join me for this 3 News Now morning update. Our digital team will continue to bring you the stories making headlines around Northeast Ohio and the world. Make sure to continue to check our social media pages and WKYC.com throughout the day. I'm Dave Chodowski. I'll see you next week on Go. Go Browns on Sunday against those Arizona Cardinals, the only undefeated team left in the NFL. Let's see if the Browns can bring home the win. Have a great weekend, everybody.